I'm Jess with New Jersey 101.5, and I'm outside of NJ Weedman's The Joint, where we're protesting the legalization of marijuana, and I am here with... Hi, my name is Michael Hazukov. I am a Libertarian candidate for Town Council in the Township of West Milford, New Jersey. Okay, and what brings you here today? I'm here joining the protest against the criminal prohibition of marijuana. It is entirely immoral that we would throw people in jail over a handful of leaves. And you know, you've seen this shift very dramatically. New Jersey had their Compassionate Use for Medical Marijuana Act passed uh, around 2010. That's only six years ago now, and it has been dramatic. Uh, at that time, support for legalization was about 30%. Now it's, it's well into the 60s, so there's an overwhelming majority of people People who support legalization. Uh, unlike what the governor might tell you, that's not just because people want to get high. In reality, at most, one in five people regularly smoke cannabis. So the reason this law has, has so much overwhelming uh, support is because non-smokers are tired of seeing their family and their neighbors and their friends incarcerated. Do you think you're going to change any laws there or anything? I mean, uh, I know it's a state well, level thing. But... Yeah, at, at the town level, the most I could do is introduce a resolution supporting the legalization of cannabis. And we could also introduce a low priority uh, enforcement initiative, uh, making it doesn't decriminalize marijuana, but it would make it clear to the officers that the voters there think that that is a low priority for their law enforcement activities. And the reason I would support that is because as uh, the AMA has recently just let out a study, there's actually 25% less opioid deaths in states that have robust cannabis programs. Uh, so, so heroin is a huge problem ravaging the state. I think that cannabis can be a part of the solution to that problem.